Hey guys, welcome back to Roblox Jet Set. Today we'll talk about the real reason why PewDiePie stopped playing Roblox. Let's get into it. Number 6. Who is PewDiePie? Known as PewDiePie Online, Felix Kilberg is one of the biggest stars on the internet, with more than 100 million subscribers on his YouTube channel and more than 24 billion viewers. The PewDiePie channel is best known for its irreverent gaming content, shot into Let's Play style, videos of Kilberg playing video games while giving an expletive run commentary. Let's Play has become a very popular YouTube genre, and PewDiePie is a superstar. His repertoire has grown to include live action and animated comedy shorts. But as the reputation of the Swede rose, his action became increasingly controversial. He apologized in 2012 for using gay and retard as allegedly playful slurs and for making rape jokes. But after uploading videos featuring anti-Semitic and Nazi images, he was dropped in February 2017 by his network partner, the Disney-owned Maker Studios. He was also ejected from YouTube's red site and the Google Favorite program. He apologized, saying that his joke has been taken out of context, only to blur the N-word months later during a live stream in September 2017. Like his videos, the future of PewDiePie seems to be disturbingly uncertain certain and I check out my latest creations and I realized that PewDiePie's account had been deleted Number 5. Banned from Roblox In February 2019, PewDiePie hosted a live stream where he played the children's game Roblox in an effort to raise the subscriber count and retain its lead over the competing T-Series channel, which had approximately the same number of subscribers at the time. The live stream had some technical hiccups, but it was a total success, giving PewDiePie enough subscribers to make sure that T-Series won't overtake him as the most subscribed YouTube channel for some time to come. Unfortunately for YouTuber fans, hoping to see him produce more Roblox content in the future though, PewDiePie has been removed from the game. Not only was PewDiePie's Roblox ID forbidden, but it seems that Roblox has an anti-PewDiePie stance in general. It seems that the game is suspending and warning Roblox players to make PewDiePie-related material, such as subscribe to PewDiePie t-shirts, for example. This is apparently due to the numerous controversies surrounding the world-famous YouTuber, in particular his video, where he unknowingly recommended a channel notorious for anti-Semitic content in the past. The particular PewDiePie conflict had some far-reaching implications. It saw some online drama about a Ubisoft employee who was supposedly fired for calling on game developers to put an end to PewDiePie's career, only to discover later that she has not actually been fired for her remarks. Number 4. Revealing the ban PewDiePie announced the ban to more than 85 million subscribers in a video on his YouTube channel. Other users have reported receiving bans or warnings simply for mentioning the name of YouTubers. PewDiePie's account was subsequently reintroduced, with Roblox finding the suspension incorrect. Roblox is committed to providing a safe and civil platform for our players, including blocking memes that represent or are synonymous for behavior that falls outside of our community standards, it said in a post on its developer forums. In December, Pewdie became one of those derogatory memes for Roblox. As such, we started blocking the development of new usernames that incorporated the word. The legacy account that PewDiePie used in his livestream was incorrectly banned as part of the administration of this policy. PewDiePie took the whole affair in a stride. He posted on Twitter, there is a god. My Roblox account was unbanned. Number 3. Others hit in the crossfire. Even before PewDiePie made a video announcing the ban, a few people went to social media after they saw the purge of everything related to the YouTuber. Some argued that in-game products that featured PewDiePie branding had been deleted from their accounts. Others said they had issued bans on writing subscribe to PewDiePie in the game chat. And Rogos, a Roblox player featured in PewDiePie's video, said that his account was disabled simply for writing Hi PewDiePie when he saw the famous YouTuber in the game. Fidget spinners. Adopt a cute family. Upgrading Roblox, but how can you upgrade what is already perfection. Number 2. The PewDie Meme Meanwhile, some of the players in the game have challenged the validity of the PewDie Meme. I have never seen anything like that on Roblox, said Koneko Kitten in a YouTube video. Back in 2018, in December, not once did I see it. It may refer to the subscribe to PewDiePie messages that have become ubiquitous in 2018 and 2019. Several paid adverts appeared in Roblox at the time, encouraging people to subscribe to its YouTube channel, with some also mentioning receiving direct messages about it. Others, however, indicated that even though this ban was correct, it would be almost impossible to obey, since they were not aware of it. The PewDiePie ban is not in the rules. Eric Zone has said on Twitter, why was there no public warning about the ban? It's not clear if users will face penalties in the future to address PewDiePie in the game platform talk. Number 1. Why didn't he start playing it again though? Although PewDiePie could have just resumed playing the game, he said that he doesn't want to. He simply was too disappointed because of the ban, and stated he doesn't want to support a company which bans users for no reason. What do you think about PewDiePie? Would you want him to return playing Roblox? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.